It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Baltimore Ravens, next on Madden NFL 25. Autumn has arrived in the Mid-Atlantic region of the U.S., and it is a glorious afternoon at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. To me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here's the first drive for the Ravens, and at the helm is the 2023 NFL Most Valuable Player. Second such time he's won the award, Lamar Jackson. And he's coming off the season where he showed everyone that he's worth every single penny he was given. He now has two MVP trophies on his resume and was on the verge of adding a Lamar Hunt trophy to go with it. Unfortunately, things didn't work out in his favor, but make no mistake about it. He's truly one of the most electrifying players in the NFL. As long as he's the man under center, they'll always be in championship conversation. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry, and he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. From the 35, here's second and three. Now it's Jackson fighting to stay upright. A short throw caught by Andrews. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as the tackle made at the 42. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Now Jackson. The short one there caught by Likely. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Now it's Jackson. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. A first down carry for Henry. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Jackson now. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Flowers. 
And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go that sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. From the gun, it's Jackson. They'll find the former Steeler, Deontay Johnson. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 23. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. In motion, Aguilar. To throw is Jackson. His throw incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now a second and ten. To throw again is Jackson. It's caught by Aguilar. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and it'll be a third and about 13. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. He's coming off a season where he certainly experienced his fair share of ups and downs. On the positive side, he threw for career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. On the negative side, he threw the most interceptions in his career, and his team struggled and collapsed down the stretch. If he can get back to playing mistake-free football without sacrificing his aggressiveness, this team can get back to competing for a Super Bowl berth. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. Oh, and now some space to operate. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Hurts. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. You've got to shake that off and get going. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. 
And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. Two yards to go, second down. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. That doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down, a nice consistent game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst, nice gain, too. From the 48-yard line, here's second and a yard. Jackson from the shotgun, and his pass incomplete. And there was a good opportunity to just want to ride there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach... Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as they'll go instead with Barkley. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field. And I don't think he got there. Call it no gain on the 
keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On your own side of the own field. side of the field. But, boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for it and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. I like it. I'm feeling it. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The tight end in motion right. Throwing is Jackson. A short one there caught by Likely. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain, so he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Good clean play, no flags coming out of the pocket of the officials, turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Sets up to throw it. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down. Hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Second down and a yard. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Now they need two. Here's third down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. A first down carry for Barkley. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job. 
but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. Throwing his hurts. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Hurts to his former Alabama teammate Smith for an eagle first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. They'll look to throw now on first down. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Here's a second and five. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. A big pickup there for the Eagles first down, 18 yards. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Barkley inside handoff. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 62 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. And despite the fancy footwork we saw, they'll get to him just inside the 15. Brought down on the play by Trenton Simpson. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. First carry for Kenneth Gainwell. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Did he get the feet down? Yes! Touchdown! A.J. Brown from four yards out. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Oh, such great concentration there, going right up against the side of the end zone, but able to get the feet inbounds. There are so many things that go into that catch, and you just mentioned the concentration, being able to catch the football, get your feet down inbounds, hang on to it all the way through the process of the catch. That was a phenomenal play. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now, 
after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. In motion, Aguilar. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. What a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. The defensive coordinators love that. You got a cornerback willing to stick his nose in there, come up on run support, and stop that pop pass dead in its tracks. And, partner, one good thing about trying to defend that play, you should see it coming the whole way. You see the receiver coming in motion in your direction. Nice job eluding the blocker, making the play behind the line of scrimmage, but an even better job studying the play before you have to try and defend it in a game. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The Eagles and Jalen Hurts heading back to work. On the previous drive, he connected with A.J. Brown for the touchdown pass. And they start again here first and 10 now. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. From the gun, it's Hurts. Over the middle, brought in by Dodson. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Dotson in motion right. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home Left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up.
The escape ability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. On second and goal, here's an option play left. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable, but that time the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Forced out to his left. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Decent gain on the scramble is six, but now it's fourth. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll run with Barkley. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A one-yard touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. This defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. Elliott on for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Hill shedding the tackle. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They trail now 14-3, an 11-point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. They begin with Henry, and he is going to lose yardage here. It was Brandon Graham that came in there and got him. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Jackson, option right. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. So they recover their own fumble. Now they face third and short. This time Jackson will throw it. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Nine yards that time. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. Here's Jackson to throw. A short throw caught by Andrews. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Jackson. This complete left side to Aguilar. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Jackson. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Deontay Johnson from eight yards out. And the Ravens get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. So this drive spans seven plays. And in the end, it was Deontay Johnson's touchdown catch to cap the drive. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Brown goes in motion left. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He'll buy some time right. Loose inside the 30. And down to the seven-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. didn't take long one play and we're already looking at a first and goal situation now back to throw 
And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts taking it in from seven yards away. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. If you're going to put quarterback in the NFL, you've got to have great vision and you've got to remain calm when things break down in the pocket. Both of those traits are on display there. He surveys the situation, sees the middle of the field open, so he's just going to step up and take it himself. Very well done there. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. Well, it wasn't a one-play drive, but I think they'll take it. The scoring summary, two plays and into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And the Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. Now it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Now it's Jackson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. This time they stay on the ground. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Here's Jordan Stout now. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Here, it was the always dangerous Saquon Barkley with the impressive first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. 
And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Well, the Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. And this defense has got to be at its wits end, trying to come up with ways to keep him contained. He's had so many opportunities to tuck it and go, and he's turned a number of those opportunities into big plays. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Again, it's Barkley. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. That one downfield for Dotson. It's caught inside the 25. And they're going to have this in a great spot way down in Baltimore territory. A big play there for Philly. 53 yards. Another big play right there, and this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Throwing on second down, Hurts. Hurts fumbles it, and he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. In motion right is Smith. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. Oh, and that is well read defensively. A great job of setting the edge, and that little touch pass is going to turn into a loss. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but... They were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Trenton Simpson. And the Ravens will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at the 45. After the interception, here's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. 
And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Now Jackson taps this forward. Jet sweep. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. In motion, Aguilar. A quick pass out to Aguilar. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. To throw again is Jackson. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. From the gun on third down, Jackson. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. It became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Now Jackson, and he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it. This time doesn't work out. And the Eagles defense able to hold. Uh, the D brought the house. They called the blitz, and they get to the quarterback overwhelming the O-line. And I would love to know, and we'll find out later on, was that called before the play? Or did they audible into it? Because defenses change plays as well as offenses. Sometimes they get the set they want. They go right to the blitz. And in this case, they nailed it. Got right to the quarterback. No chance on that fourth down. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's got Smith here. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Second and five. Up the middle with Barkley. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. On third down, Barkley. And Barkley did not get there. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play, and that's going to lead them to fourth down. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stopped that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. The Eagles send out their punter now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense, because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, 
That's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride the offense this go around. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. I think they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. From the 22, here's second and eight. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. 43 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line. He lost a big chunk, six yards there, and it leads to fourth down. But these guys are gonna chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. The Ravens send their putter out now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Forty-five yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and ten. The Eagles offense and running back Saquon Barkley ready to get going again. And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine he was the topic of the halftime talk for this defense. We've got to find a way to slow him down. That's probably what they're saying. But nothing that they have done has worked so far. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. That one downfield for Dotson. That's going to be nothing away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Ravens offense and Derrick Henry set to take over once more. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. To throw is Jackson. And that's incomplete. 
A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing is Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there of finding him in stride for really good yardage. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. On the option right is Jackson. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, They'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Jackson now. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Buried for the sack by big Jalen Carter. The drive had started well after a punt last time. Now it's slowed down a bit. And let's face it, they don't want to punt the ball back-to-back -back series. They want a sustained drive on this one. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. He'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know we can't do a mind meld and really know exactly what he was thinking, but I didn't see an open receiver there. Maybe, possibly, he did that on purpose and just overthrew him. Yeah, coverage was good, so maybe indeed that was a, another way to throw it away, if you will. The Ravens send their putter out now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start with the option. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Only a yard on the keeper and it'll be second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. From the 24 now, here's second and nine. Hurts sets up to throw it. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. I like his awareness in the pocket there. Nowhere to go with the football, so instead of forcing it to the sideline, he's just going to put this one into the harbor and live to fight another down without getting wet. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here's Hurts to throw. This pass hauled in by Dotson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Henry. 
And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 10 yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. They keep it with Henry on first down. Shedding through the defense. Still going. He may go. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Derrick Henry, 67 yards. And the Ravens are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. John Harbaugh thought about it, and now his guys are going to go for the two-point conversion. Jackson here, he's going to look to throw. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And out now come the Eagles. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. From the gun, it's Hurts. And down he'll go at the 25. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Parker, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role. Really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. A handoff to Barkley. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 92 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you've got to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. The Eagles on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and seven. Hurts. That's to the sideline and pulled in. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. 
We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Throwing his hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Here's second and ten. Here's a give to Barkley. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? <laughs> Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. The Ravens offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now huh had him pinned back there deep give up that run can't be happy yeah whatever was whatever is in his mind right now we probably couldn't say over the air completes it to Aguilar give him a gain of five on the completion and that will bring up second down but right there he rose to the occasion late in a close game it's something he thought about dreamed about and worked on throughout his career because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. The slot man in motion right. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he's got this up to the 28-yard line. First down carry for Henry. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 143 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Here's Jackson. And that, oh, nearly picked off. That would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, 
you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Again, it's Henry. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Great stop by Darius Slay to back up the offense. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out of that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. And they'll send the tight end in motion. From the gun, it's Jackson. Throw caught by Flowers. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Tucker now to add the point after. And that will make this a four-point game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second down and four. Dotson in motion right. From just shy of midfield, Hurts. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as the tackle made at the 42. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard, and he's taken down inside the 30. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Dotson in motion right. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I'll bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. Second and ten. They'll look to throw again. These are running back numbers that he's accumulating right now. Received double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing, in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Here's first and goal. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Man open left side is Brown. But he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, yeah, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. He's back to throw. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams oh, yeah. guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Elliott Good with a PAT. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down by a field goal, a minute 12 to go. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Jackson connecting with Andrews. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play.
Jackson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled out a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Jackson to throw. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And what a big play because now you're guaranteed at least a shot at extending this one. He had the 40-yard line picked out as his bare minimum to give them some kind of a game-tying attempt, and he got there. Excellent determination on that scramble, and it might just help them snatch away a victory. Throwing Jackson. He's got it complete to Aguilar. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. They'll come up first and ten here. Here's Jackson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. The ball on the 16 for second and 10. Henry up the middle. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to potentially send us to overtime. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to tie things up in the final minute. Tucker's kick is good. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. So in the final minute, they turn it over to their kicker to get him back to even, and he does not disappoint. Brandon, do you think the pressure ever gets to this guy? Because I sure don't. That was pretty smooth right there. But I tell you, he better not rest on his laurels because there's a good chance they may need him again if this game goes to overtime. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as the kicks away here. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. This is first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Pass complete, Goddard, and he'll be taken down as that'll net him only about a gain of nine. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Here's second down. Oh. 
Back to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. This from 51 yards for the win. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Yeah, that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. One last shot for Jackson. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort. That was good, very good in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.